Hello everybody and welcome back to Darkest Dungeon. We are here again in the Cursed Estate and last time we had a very stressful time. We went and took out a bunch of Shard mercenaries and went and took on the Endless Mode and it was a hell of a ride. My god was it exciting and stressful and crazy and I kind of asked you guys what suggestions you had for some uh, of these different trinkets that we might want to buy had a few good suggestions the main one that uh, i was told to look at was the one that is available for um the dark wraith this one here uh oh no it's not this one here sorry uh, oh yes it is this one it is this one armor piercing a flask of agony damage if flask if no flask of agony five stress when an attack misses uh, on kill, buff self with 1% death blow resist and 1% damage. The only caveat to this one was the um, tier. He said that it's kind of one of those ones that you don't really know if you want. Simply because if it's only for one battle, the 1% death blow and 1% damage, it's not that useful. But if it's until camp or for quest, then it's insanely good. So it's one of those ones that we're kind of a little up in the air about. Um, another one is the uh, the Jester Trinket here for the 25 stress healing seal. That'd be really good. There's quite a few good ones, actually. Obviously, this one here, extra shards given, is nice for the future. Um, the Shield Breaker one here is quite nice, too. Um... This one is decent, we can get some extra stealth, but if we're at death's door, we're basically guaranteed to die because you get no healing at death's door, so it's pretty risky. Uh, but there's quite a lot of very, very, very good ones here, so this is maybe something that we're going to keep an eye on and sort of play into if we need. But maybe we're just going to save up and kind of go for some of the better ones, uh, or the later level ones, should I say. They're not technically better, but later level ones, like this could be really good. And we'll just see what we go. I've prepared ourselves a team, though. I've got ourselves a team ready. This is going out to kill the Incant Flesh. Uh, or the Unstable Flesh, should I say. We're bringing out Dismas. He came back after he merged. Oh, I do apologize for the notification there. After he merged, he came back. Um, and he is he is ready to go out once more. Uh, as, as you remember, Cell wrote an absolutely stunning story for uh, Dismas when he went back home and found the eldritch beast that was his brother, Nil, I believe his name was, that bounded his soul with Dismas's gun. Uh, so if we use either point blank shot or pistol shot, these are going to be taking the form of nil. Uh, we've also got these two skills as well, which are going to be using for um, up close. But I've created a very movable team here. Um, we've got ourselves. Uh, Yatsu here, uh, she's going to be using Weed Out mainly, uh, but also a few other things as well. And she's going to be doing a lot of Bleed and uh, Blight mainly. Um, then we've also got Nina here, who has that armor piercing, but also has that extra damage to Blight. Um, and extra damage against Max if we want to use that, along with the Shadow Fade. And then we've got our Cook here, who can basically just do whatever she wants from most positions, apart from the very front. She shouldn't ever be in the very front anyway, so I think that works out pretty well. Uh, let's just check out what we've got um fears the unholy that's fine okay we've, we've not got anything terribly bad there uh but now we need to trinket these guys up of course we kind of know what dismiss trinket situation is we've used this before we're going to go with the parrying dagger for the extra melee damage accuracy bleed chance and repost with these little bit extra stress we're also going to go with the even higher bleed chance and that melee skill um, crit, which is going to be just fantastic. Here, we've got some interesting stuff because we have some new sisters uh, trinkets that we can actually go for. So we can go with extra bleed duration. We can go with extra damage and dodge in warrior mode. We could go with blight skill chance as long as, along with plus 30 stress healing skills. Um, it's going to lower her bleed chance. I think we'll probably take that. The, uh, the haunting scroll seems really good. And we're going to pair that with something new that we got. The Brass Boogle, because this is minus 50 stress. This is a character that takes on a lot of stress, um, so I think that's going to be perfect. Nina here can pretty much full send it with damage, uh, so what we're probably going to do with Nina is set her up with both of these two. I would like to set her up with default damage, but we're going to be going against the flesh, and the flesh is very susceptible to both bleed and blight, so setting up both of those on Nina is going to be awesome and then of course maggie she does a lot of restoration based healing so we can basically filter into that by putting this on her here for the extra um restoration amount restored and res um, applied and then there's another restoration one we have as well uh plus 50 restoration amount received um 
Okay, we don't really need to go with that one. Uh, maybe we'll just go with one that outright helps their healing. Let's have a little look, see which one can we go for in that sense. We've got a few different ones that we can try out. Uh, we could also go with a minor stress just to negate the stress off of this. In fact, let's do that. Let's make sure we're not taking on too much stress here. Let's just negate the stress there. The healer here should be enough. We've got to remember as well that we have Blossom here, which is going to be a nice stress heal as well as a pretty good little restoration heal. This is going to be kind of a restoration heavy team. And then we do, of course, have the... Um, little thing from the stars that could come up and that's kind of why we're bringing pick to the face here the armor piercing is going to be very very influential if we come across that we do of course have tinnitus the disease on nina here the grave robber but that's only a minus 15 distress heal it's not all that bad so hopefully this team should be well prepared i think they are i think they're gonna be pretty good and for doing this we're gonna be getting the legendary bracer which is pretty nice along with this for the arson which is 20 pro which i love and the stun amulet which is not all that good but i'm happy to have it nonetheless uh so let's go in here another thing as well to note um something actually we can do before we even go into this quest um i turned off the mod that lowers the chance for the crimson curse people asked for it i'm not all that happy about it but I think if you guys really think I should keep it as default, I will. I won't. I won't put any cheaty mods on. I also removed the mod that increases our money gain briefly. I do apologize about the notification. Briefly. I do not know if that will stay off. I'm just playing around with it. I feel like we've been able to buy pretty much everything we want whenever we want at the moment. And that's obviously not really intentional. So I'm trying to curb the amount of money we're getting just to stop that from happening quite as easily. But we can go over here and um, craft up this here. So we need 80 of the faces so we can tra trade our crests in for that. So we're at 20 at the minute. So we need another 60. How many of these would it take to get up to 60? Let's have a look, see. We can get 40 here. We're up to 60, and then we need 80, so let's trade some of these as well, shall we? Another 20. There you go. And then we can go over here, and we can... Go and grab... Where is it? I've lost it. I've completely lost it. There you go. Two bottles of blood brewed each week. Constructs this building. We have that building now. That's going to allow us to get a bit of blood every now and again, which should help out immensely. We can also go to the Puppet Theater. That's probably one of the next ones we'll go for, in fact, once we get up to 200 crests. I'm not going to do any more trading because I'm kind of happy with what we've got right now. But people suggested that, so I, therefore I'm doing it. Uh, but th let's go ahead and go and fight the Unstable Flesh. This should be a pretty, a pretty gnarly team. If I'm correct here. In fact, I'm going to switch these two around as a base so you can start off with Duelist's Advance. I think that's going to be better for us. So let's get our provisions ready here. We'll take full food uh, just because we've got we've got a hungry bugger here. She has uh, extra food consumption. So we'll take full food. We'll take five shovels and then we'll take four of everything else. Four of everything else will do me. I don't need any of those. And we'll take 24 of those as well. Uh, and I think that's going to be good to go. We don't really need to take anything else with us. This should be a very strong team. I hope, at least. I'm really interested to see how um, Yatsu performs here with the Bugle. I think I think the Bugle's going to be really top-notch for her. Store such a prodigious amount of offal. Nor could I rid myself of it easily. Possessed as it was by unnameable things from outer spheres. When excavations beneath the manor broke through into an ancient network of aqueducts and tunnels, I knew I had found a solution to the problem of disposal. Okay, uh, we do have a few diary entries here. I've written a few this week as well as TA, and we have a few notes from uh, Friendly Chef. Main one, I'll start off with Friendly Chef. I made a mistake in reading out the diary entry about Willow. Them notifications need to stop. Um, I like made a little mistake when talking about Willow. Uh, Willow actually didn't get revived by Isaac. He was revived by Adam, the Crypt Keeper, um, or the Crypt Master, should I say. Uh, and Isaac was just keeping his body for research purposes. Isaac wasn't actually involved in bringing him back to life uh but then we'll jump into this first diary entry here this is f by me for matthew the houndmaster i've been in the hamlet a while now but i feel as though my fellow man still does not trust me sure my life is lined with tales of cheating and distrust but these people know nothing of my past or so i thought i've been seeing a woman around the hamlet that looks at me with true disdain at first i thought nothing of it but as time has gone on i've seen her more and more 
After some sneaking around, I found her name to be Felfa, and I believe she may have once lived in the same town as I. If this is true, it would explain a lot. Rumours and mistru mistruths spread fast here. Okay, we have another one here from TA. Oh, the notifications are annoying me. Uh, this is by TA, and this is for Verona, our snake charmer. Today I saw something that nearly sent me into a panic. A familiar face, but not the face of an ally. I have battled against these bandits before. They're they are all easily dealt with, but today I saw one that I recognised. One that took part in the siege of my hometown. I even inspected the man after the death, and I am certain it's the same person. Could those monsters that burned down my town to the ground and took the lives of my family be here? Oof, that's, that's some hard-hitting truth there. If that's true, wow. An incoherent jumble of organ, sinew, and bone. Oh my god move forward this is Dismas's first trip back out after visiting his hometown I'm sure he's a little shaken but he has his soul bound with nil and he is he's ready to go okay we got one of these guys right up front you may have noticed I've turned up the game a little bit please do let me know if it's too loud uh, I really do want to know hopefully it shouldn't be this guy resisted I did not realize he had a blight oh that was that was bad okay lunge forward there Lunge forward there. Aim at the heel. That's a that's a hard hit. Right, one moment, guys. Right, the notification should have stopped now. I didn't. I don't even actually know if you guys can hear it, but still, I'm 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 not willing to take the risk. I want to just stop it just in case. I do apologise, people. It's not not my intent. Okay, so this repose should be doing a lot for us here. Um. We can get some bleed on you. Our bleed skill chance is incredibly high, so we should be able to do a lot with that. We're going to shadow fade here. Aim at the heel. Nice dodge, Dismas. And we can actually bring Nil into the fight in just a moment as well, which is going to be just lovely. I'm going to throw that at you. I know the blight's not going to do much. Um, I can blight you, though. Nice. You are taking a lot. Ooh, took a bit of damage there. Minus 40 damage. Okay. Um, let's bramble. Isolate that repost. Having two reposts set up here is great. And then we can pick to the face. Nice big hit on you. And that's a 12 damage tick. Insane. And there's this point blank shot coming in. Huge damage. Nil there. Uh, showing his true might. Okay, nice buff there. Let's cook. Unfortunately, the blight's not going to affect you too much. That is a big devour. That hurt. That really hurt. We should be able to get a decent heal on ourselves here. This thing's going to die next turn. Let's uh, heal ourselves up. Get that restoration going. And also heal there. We also stole some of our restoration as well, so we both got it now. Okay, nice amount of money. So too will resistance. Okay, not too bad, not too bad. That was a little scary, but we got through it. <sighs> right, let's carry on. Uh, rearrange our party order again. And yes, we'll be taking that. Thank you. Isle of Bones, lovely. Okay, we don't know what lies in waits, but we're pretty sure scouting does help. We're pretty sure the boss is going to be here or here. Um, I think actually... No, I think it has to be he down at this one here. Uh, but we might carry on after the boss. I might get greedy and go for the thing from the stars. I think we can beat it. I think we can beat it. Let's try it out. Let's carry on going. Stress is not going to be a big problem for us here. We have a few of the mutants. Duelist advance set up. Ramble. Get the double repose going. And we'll just finish you off. Pick to the face is going to hurt a lot on you. And we'll start our cooking. Nice one, Maggie. Cook everyone up a nice hearty meal. And there's the repost. And there's the repost again, sir. Ooh, that was a bad choice for you. We're all taking the repost damage now. We can go for this. Nice throw, Nina. Well done. Point blank shot, nil to finish off. Get a last shot there. And everyone heals up. We'll go for this. This is going to remove a negative quirk. Let's have a look. Um, 
None of those are terrible. I think Nina's got the worst ones, definitely. So we'll try and get rid of one of her fr from her. That's pretty good. 20, plus 20 stress, we had a torch in our inventory. That's gone now, which is great. So this should be the boss right here. Uh, I reckon we're pretty pretty well prepared. Apart from that, I'll uh, get rid of that bleeding right there and heal you up a little bit. We don't need to camp beforehand. Our stress levels are good. We don't need the damage buffs. This boss should actually be quite easy. If I'm correct. We just need to build up a ton of blight and that's going to be pretty easy. Nice. Blight and bleed set up there. Sanguine stroke. A little bit of healing. That's okay. We can get past that. Another another bit of healing there. And Maggie's getting bit. Ooh, that's a harsh blight on her there. We'll still set up the repost here. I still think it's worth setting that up. Um, We can't heal ourselves here. Let's just go for the blight. Wow, 12 damage for 5 rounds. Okay, no stun. That's great. Ooh! There is a first for everything. My game just crashed. We'll be right back, guys. Okay, we are... We are back. Uh, luckily, it's safe. Pretty much on the move that we were on. Still got the exact same stats and everything. So we should be fine here. Not sure what caused the uh, the crash. I do know that I, I've installed quite a few new mods. Um, so it could be one of those. None of which are in play currently, but it still could be one of them. Uh, we've got to be aware of that. Right, let's go for the, uh, the cooking. Get everyone's restoration started. More of life. It's going to hurt. Okay, good. Nice dodge. Okay, so it's crashed again. That's a problem. Hmm. Right. Right, we're back again. Again, it's saving point by point. So we might end up getting a few more crashes. I don't know. We'll have to see. Hopefully we can keep this together. I do think... At the very precipice Maggie, no. Maggie, no. Maggie, no. Maggie might be dead here. Please, Maggie. Please. Okay, the restoration should help, but I don't know if it'll heal her. This is tough. That's blow resist. Wow. Okay, I'm going to steal her restoration. Give us our, ourselves some. This is this is scary. And there you go. It's crashed again. Oh, okay, guys. I don't know what to say. Uh, I'm going to have to push through this on my own, I guess, and then come back to you once it's sorted. Sorry, guys. We're back again. It's gonna. This is seems like it's going to happen every time he transforms, but we're at least making progress each time, so don't worry about it too much. Let's just hope that pure Maggie, poor Maggie here does not die. We're doing insane damage and we've got really insane bleed and blight on this thing, but yeah, it's going to be scary. It's going to be scary. More of life again. It's going to transform in a sec here and it's going to crash. More of life again. Please leave it alone. Oh, Death Star. Oh my god, Maggie. Right, everyone needs a heal. Everyone needs a heal. It didn't crash. It didn't crash. Oh my god, it heals. Okay, this is this has been the most stressful thing ever. Um, you need the heal. It's more important than anything else right now. 18, that's huge. I think it's dead. I think it's dead. It is. Okay. Despite the crashing, despite everything, it's dead. Okay, continue adventuring. Give you that. I'm not sure, exactly sure what buff that just gave you. Disease resist. Right, let's get that off of you. Um, do we have prevent nighttime ambush? Let's check. Remove disease. That's nice, at least. Okay, we do have prevent nighttime ambush here. Okay, we're going to camp. Yeah, we're going to camp. Wow, that was that was a, a bit horrible. A chance to steal oneself against the coming horror. We do have this prevent nighttime ambush, which would be better and it's cheaper. Right, let's go for this one because it's a little cheaper. Right, then we've got 
One companion, 20% extra action HP, 50% eating. Okay, that's not great. Uh, we got self only. That's all range stuff. We don't really need to do that. Unless, does this count as a range skill? It, it does. We can we can do that. And then with, uh, with Nina here, we've got... Okay, so let's go with a scouting chance. To be fair, I should probably go with that anyways, because that's pretty that's a pretty good buff. Can't quite afford it. That's okay. Um And then just go with the maximum HP on, on Dismas here. Right. Okay. Let's rest. We'll do a bit more adventuring here. It's scary. I realize, but I think, I think we've got it in us. Oh, let's just hope that I haven't made a mistake here. Just, if, every, if, if anything starts going wrong, remember, overconfidence is a slow and insidious killer. Get the hell out of there. Okay, we've got some bloodsuckers here. Okay. We've been hit. Any of you got prop? No, you're, you're just going to go down. Nice blight on you. And raging wine. Okay, be careful. Be very careful here. You need to go. The less enemies, the better right now. Gathering the blood. And there it is. Nina's the first one. Nina's the first one. To get the Crimson Curse. She... Is the first one and and just look at this i take the mod off and immediately get it immediately get it that's obviously i understand i understand why and i'm fine with it but that's the reason that's the reason why i hadn't had it on previously because it's far too easy to get literally the first battle if we get it on another character here i'm gonna be so pissed wow 41 damage definitely obliterated okay that was something I didn't know could happen. Let's finish you off. A time to perform beyond one's limits. Okay. You're dead. Please, guys, don't hurt me. Nice. Another one dead. But we have the first Crimson Curse. Please don't make it a second, because I'll cry. Okay, nice dodge. Let's change over. Oh, we can't even do Crimson Dance from here anyways. Let's finish you off. All this horror is kind of annoying, but whatever. Let's cook up. The light, the promise of safety. The first again. I'm sorry, but that's ridiculous. Literally the first fight. What's the point? Confidence you made me do it, guys, and I hate it. Got on two people in literally one singular encounter. One encounter. Two people have it. That's just that's just ridiculous. Frankly, that's 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 ridiculous. Oh, she's taking all the food. Right, it's okay. We'll carry on. But yeah, that is that is just ridiculous. I don't know what this is. I, I still don't know what this is. I'm not I'm not gonna touch it because I don't know what it is. 89, 100, 90. These guys have really good disarm. Good, good. Well, there you go. There's the first two people to get it. Thank God we got the um, the center thing, the, uh, the place that makes the blood, because we need it now. Ambushed by we sure do need it now. All right, we've got my small scouting. More of them? You better not give it to everyone. I'm going to be so, so pissed if everyone gets it. You don't even know. You don't even know. Really, that missed. Just finish this guy off. We need to. Destroy them all. 
come on. Please don't give it to Dismus. He doesn't need it. He doesn't need it. Leave him alone. Okay. At least she can't get it. Point blank shot is insane. <laughs> Okay, you're dead. Slowly, gently. This is how a life is taken. Right, blight you. We are taking on a lot of stress now. Uh, just heal ourselves up. Okay, now you're dead. Great is the weapon that cuts on its own. Right, reorganize. You're gonna take that food, aren't you? Nope, you're not. Okay. And I'll have it. Laden with loot. Are, are often low on supplies. supplies. Right, keep going. Oh my god. Yeah, this is uh, not great. I can't believe we got it on two people in one fight. That's just crazy. That's why I had the mod on, but... I don't know, maybe it's not as bad as I'm thinking it is. Okay, we've got some BC boys. We've got a swine chieftain. They're new. That's one of the mods I got. Let's try and take him out. Wait. He's got 75 HP. He's gonna he's gonna be tanky. He's gonna be real tanky. Did I check something to get a mini boss? I mean he's gonna go down pretty quick, but he has a lot of HP. Look where it hurts. We kinda need to get rid of that guy. He does a lot of damage. Okay, nice dodge. Ball and chain, that's a stun. That's okay, we don't need her yet. I am going to activate our stress reliever on us. Minus 14 stress, good. Okay, he's been protected, but you're almost dead anyway, so that's okay. Grond. What the hell's that thing? God damn it. Okay, you're dead now. Gotta be careful here, guys. Gotta be very careful. I don't know what this thing does. I'm guessing... Uh, 30 plus damage if it's in position 1. It's got 50 prot, so pick to the face is gonna be good here. Let's take you out first. Yeah, let's, let's just take you out. I know that that's gonna put it in position 1, and that thing's probably gonna hurt a lot. But... Oh, I just dragged it to position 1. I'm a fool. Ball and chain again. Stunned again. Typical. Okay, so the chief the chief is dead. Okay, good. That does clear him out. That was indeed a little mini boss there. Triumphant pride Wasn't expecting that. Was not expecting that. Um We can take on one more room, right? We've still got a battle over here. Um We'll see how we fare after this fight. Radiance, may we find victory. We'll see how we fare after this fight. A gargoyle. We know they can be problematic, but we've dealt with them before. You can take some blight. Okay, nice. You're almost dead already. Pick to the face will finish yet. No, it won't. Blight on you once more. Ten ra Oh my god, that's crazy. Okay, now you're dead. Good. Okay, we could do some stress relief here. How well, that's a bit of stress there. Horror. Nice. That's you dead. 41 crit. Wow. Just insane. We can't blossom from here. That's annoying. Whatever. You're going down. We'll deal with your stress later. The bigger the beast, the harder they fall. Um, we'll leap both of those. Pop a key in here. Leap both of those. Right. Ow, trap. Watch your step. You're always hungry, you should just keep eating. We want to go to this battle here. Basically, I'm being a dumbass and trying to find the thing from the stars. Was there a trap there? Okay. 
His efficacy unwitnessed by his own eyes. Probably shouldn't do this, but heck it. It wasn't the thing from the stars anyways. Okay. We didn't find it this time around. Right. You go down. Diminished. Good, good, you're gone. Whoopsie, it did not mean to click that body there. Damn it, the heal. Spew. Okay. You're gonna get cooking. And you're gonna get healing. And stress relieving. That's 12. Okay, nice. Point blank shot. Don't eat me too bad. Nice. My restoration. Don't go for my girl so much. She's just chilling. Oh, she's at the front again. I need to keep... I need to forget to... Uh, sorry, I need to stop moving her out of position two because it's just dumb. But now we'll just do that. There you go. Back in position two. Can we... Can we stall this out or not? Ow. Nice hit. We might just have to play this as is. Yeah. I was going to try and stall it out to get stress healings off. We're not going to bother with that. Right. That'll do us. Okay, that was... We came across the Swine Chieftain. And the actual boss, which crashed three times. Unexpected, but... Everyone here, apart from... Sadly, Yatsu got to level four. We're all looking good. 25% healing received. Nice. Especially to replace skilled gambler, which doesn't really matter to us that all that much. Uh, but that's good. Um, to unequip all of our trinkets here. And sort by class restrictions. So that was... That was good and bad. I am very, 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 very upset that we immediately literally immediately got um the curse like the first after turning off the mod the literal first chance it got it gave us it to two different characters so if that honestly if that keeps happening if i if, it, if i end up getting it on like four or five different people and it's like on the first battle every time i'll probably re-enable the mod because i do not want it being quite that crazy like i don't care about a few characters getting it that's bound to happen but i do not want half my roster to have it especially considering that the bloodsuckers can appear anywhere as well right let's do some um let's do some stress relief here everyone else looking all right uh right do we want to go on another quest here we're at 33 minutes we can probably fit in another one yeah uh what do we want to go for Got a lot of stuff down here to do, but not really anything we want to go for yet. Um, Oceanborn, damage reflection, 20 cent damage received if in crab mode. Damage, extra damage received. Okay. Interesting. Gather three holy relics. A seer, we don't, we're not really using a seer right now, so that's not ideal. Ronin, Duchess, and Scarecrow are still. So they, that doesn't seem to change. They, they're the same. Um, We could go for this. 40% damage versus stone works. That's a long one, though. Probably don't want to go on a long one. Let's try and... That's a long one as well. This is only a short, though. Let's try and go on the short one and just see how it goes. We'll take some level threes, get some levels up going. Um, Right, who should we bring? We're going to bring ourselves Alert, our Blackguard. I like our Blackguard quite a lot. We'll bring him along. Um, we'll bring Trell. We could bring Trell, but he's mainly a bleed guy. Probably don't want to bring him. Um, Linus the Trap Maker. He's very skilled in the um, in the ruins. I think he can do a good job. Venus hasn't been out in a little while either. And then who who should we bring as our healer? We could bring Aaron, although his healing isn't the most guaranteed. Uh. Do you know what? We'll yeah, we'll, we'll stick with this. I think this could I think this could work. Um, 
Probably using the blunderbuss mainly here, but we'll try this out and see how this goes. Cool, let's uh, trinket these guys up. Don't think we have anything specific for the blackguard, do we? No. Um... You have okay damage. Okay, great. You, you're you're going to be the damage, the powerhouse for all the damage. So let's go with the ring on you, along with the legendary bracer. True, for some reason I thought the legendary bracer was leper only. It's not. <laughs> it's definitely not. Uh, is the flat twenty percent damage what we want, or do we want to go for the higher crit? I think do you know what we'll go for the higher crit instead. Let's go with this here. Uh, then for you, we're going to go with, we'll take that, and we'll also take, hmm, we'll go with that, because the Blight's going to be useful. Then you're going to want both the healing trinkets, so let's take the healing on you. Where are we for healing? I can never remember which ones our healing trinkets are. We've got this here, which is one of them. And we've got two ones up here for 20%. We've got this one, which lowers our crit and maximum HP. Or we've got the one that allows us to never virtue, which is this one here. I'll take that one. That one's fine by me. Uh, and then Linus here. He's got some range damage on him. What could we do with Linus here? Uh, damage and accuracy seems good to me. And the scouting chance doesn't really matter all that much because it's not going to... We're not going to end up seeing a, um, a secret room because they don't appear on shorts, on short missions. So there's not much point in that. Um, hmm. A little lost on what to go for here. Not 100% sure. We could just go for the massively reduced stress. That could help. I don't think we have any trap makers trinkets, do we? No, not by the looks of it. Should try try and look out for some of those. We don't have any specific for him yet. Let's just go with the slime jar, shall we? Having that little bit of extra healing could help out. And this should be a pretty a pretty good team, I think. A pretty good team. I mean, Aaron's been wanting to get back out into the runes for a while. That's kind of his domain. I can't believe our curve is still a level five as well. We definitely need to get our curve leveled up. Uh, but we'll get there. We'll get there. Uh, let's jump into the ruins here. I think this team's going to be pretty good. And I'm excited to take out a Blackguard again. It's been a little while. And Venus. Venus also hasn't been out for a little while. Let's grab our provisions. We're just going to grab full food. Three of them. 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 And 15 of them. And we'll go on to our next diary entry. This one is for Annie the Vestal, and this is another diary entry by me. Um, plenty of new arrivals over the past few weeks, although this group seems different. They're only interested in the mill and that comet that hit a few months back. From what I've heard, they went out recently, but they came back cut, bruised, and old half mad. And for what? A few glowing shards of a space rock? People come here expecting an immense payout for killing a few beasts, but they don't know what horrors truly lie here. Nevada seems to have misled a few of the adventurers as to what lies and waits beyond the hamlet. And we have a few here from TA as well. Another one, this is uh, for Artemis Alamia. I've been hiding out in my home. I know they know my secret. I've seen it in the, fa in the scowling faces of the townsfolk, the suspicious side glances of the heroes. I was suspecting to see Verona come to my door this morning and ask me for, to accompany her on an expedition. She had even put on a friendly face, though it was easy to tell she was nervous around me. I still can't understand it. Had she simply forgotten what she saw in the curve? Surely not. The fiends must be driven back. And what Very interesting. Begin, Very interesting indeed. Our noble line. The dead versus the dead here. I'm sure that I'm sure that Aaron feels somewhat somewhat in uncomfortable around uh, around Allure here. I'm sure he doesn't really like the look of him, but unfortunately, he didn't have a choice in the matter. He is going to condemn him and mark him the... Let's get you two. and take a bit of stress here. Luckily, Venus really doesn't suffer from stress that much at all, so that's okay. Finish you off. Nice one, Linus. And pulverize there. Lovely. Soothing Slash. We got another one of these. Oh wait, we had th we've got the 66% uh, 
bleed duration, now I've got the blight duration as well. So having both of those on could be a really good little combo. Again, we'll go for the stress dealers here. Um, word of power. Try and take you out, you unholy beast. Let's activate repose here. Get that set up. I think that's going to help out a lot. Bit of stress coming in here, and you're going down. Wow, big crit, Linus. Big crit. Buffing our dodge up as well. Another strike on us, but that repose sorts you out, and you've been struck and down by a lure. Again for Linus. Nice. Executed with impunity. Let's lower stress on everyone here. The promise of safety. And then we can also. Oh no, we can't. Okay, I need to I need to switch up my um my moves here. I thought we had a move that we don't have. As the fiend falls. Right, nice. Right, Aaron, uh, we need to switch this here to this. It's going to help out with stress. We don't really have a true stress reliever here, if apart from this flow, glimmer of hope. Otherworldly corruption. Let's carry on trucking forward. Linus, even when he doesn't see the trap, he knows how to avoid them. As you guys know, he, he has made many of these traps himself. He knows how they clear. work. He knows how to avoid them, even if he missteps. Still not going to touch those things. I really don't care what they are. Aaron, on the other hand, has literally no idea how to avoid them. And I feel like Linus has been stuck at home so long teaching people how to avoid traps and how to map through that he's kind of sick of people's shit, to be honest, and he, he just kind of let Aaron walk into that to teach him a lesson. The match is struck. He thinks people are lazy. Oh, one of these guys, a ghoul. This thing is unholy, so this will do a good amount of damage. Not a ton, but good enough amount. Activate our repost again here. Take out one of you. Wow, pulverize is destroying things right now. Nice bit of healing there. Skull toss. Nice dodge, Linus. Linus is quick and nimble on his feet. He really is. Look at that. Nimble on his feet. Pulverize. It gets 17 damage per darkness. So we could even play into that. That's kind of crazy. But I don't think Aaron would really play nice in the dark. I really don't. Nice bit of blood there. We're definitely going to need that now. Okay, good. Can take out the stretch relievers quickly. Not going to quite take you out, but... We'll do this. There you go. I was going to say it could kill with a crit, and it even did. So that's great. Finish you off. Alert can finish off this stress dealer. And that is that is the way that you comp a team. I'm guessing this guy has very high bleed resist, considering he's basically just burns. Nice shot. Maintain the offensive. Um, we can throw away that. That's it, really? Uh, yes, his blue resist is 230, wow. Uh, we still have a few rooms to go. Let's, uh, let's go through them, shall we? Don't know why I even did that. That was obviously not gonna work. Let's go to these last few rooms, see if we can get anything. Nice dodge. It's worth a try. The path is clear. We require only the strength to follow it. Okay, nothing. And the last one. We've just got a battle and a few curios. We can take on the battle, though. Shouldn't leave with too much stress here. Mix you around. Even get the crit there. Great. Where the power's going to finish you off. Nice one, Aaron. Pulverize. Finish you. I am love. This is just like a god comp. These guys are just destroying right now. I didn't even level up their gear either, I didn't even check. So we're finding these things absolutely everywhere. Let's find out what they do. Of course you have a map inside. Right, what's this called? Throbbing Cocoons. Let's go have a little research at what the Throbbing Cocoons do, shall we? Uh, Darkest Dungeon.
Robbing cocoons. Um, shifting bulging artisms hide behind translucent walls. Uh, cleanse with a torch for a stress heal of 30. So there's a 75% chance it's going to summon a, su a supplicant. Okay, it, c it could spawn an enemy, or it could spawn some loot, or some blood, or nothing. But with if I cleanse it with a torch, I get a stress heal of 30. But I'm fairly sure I tried that before and it didn't work. Like, let's just try this. Yeah. So I, I'm not as... And maybe that's only in the... Um, only in certain areas, or maybe I can only do that after a certain point. I'm not sure. But either way, these guys have completed their quest. They're ready to go back. More bones return to rest. Devils remanded to their abyss. Rage, yeah. That's pretty good. Pessimist isn't great. Although it's not terrible on Venus. Um, okay, that's that's alright. We did okay there. No one's fully leveled up there, but that's fine. There is a uh, plot quest. Shrieker's prize. A crawling chaos that must be destroyed. Right, so unequip and do that. So we've got something called Shrieker's Prize here. Kill one horrid Shrieker and we'll get the Malted Wing Feather. Extra dodge, extra disease resist, extra move resist and plus stress. Interesting, that's still level 5 so we don't want to go and do that yet but that's something to be fearful for in the future. Check this. Ironclad extra speed and damage. Thrall. Not we have I have not been getting great trinkets recently. Also, I didn't mention it at all when we got when we picked him up, but we have a powder kegger. Powder keg. Uh where is he? Sort by level. Powder keg, where are you? Was he level four? Did I not Did I not bring him on board? Where is he? I swear I brought him on board. Did I not bring him on board? What happened? I had him in the stagecoach. Did I get distracted? I think I did. Uh, right, what have, what have we got here? Uh, arsonist. Yeah, we definitely got distracted and didn't take him. That's annoying. Um... As mana arms, all of these we've already got at, at the right level, so that's fine. We don't need to take any of those on. I am so annoyed at myself. I'm fairly sure that I got a powder keg character and I didn't take them on. I thought I did. Either way, I do apologize. We do have some more diary entries to go into. One last one. This is uh, from Isaac the Plague Doctor, again written by T.E.A. Finally, a breakthrough. As dissecting and inspecting a corpse of several oversized mosquitoes, I can confirm that this curse is in fact a disease, but not like any disease I've seen in the past. I've identified a few of its attributes, most notably how aggressive and overpowering it is, easily suppressing the body's immunity and also destroying any of the disease that may try to infect the host. It seems to be most present in the host's bloodstream, keeping itself alive by feeding off the blood at a rapid rate. So incredible, it's the speed of its metabol meta metabolism that's the only way I could see the her surviving for an extended period of time is to transfuse blood into their own body somehow. The disease also causes extreme physical mutation as seen by the adventurers in town. Hybrids between human and blood sucking insects like mosquitoes. If only the porkotographer was still here, perhaps I could have kept him or uh, kept him well for a while longer. With this information, after doing more research, I'm not quite too concerned. However, this disease is after all somehow some this is this is a disease after all someone is bound to catch it again so isaac's gonna have some research to do there's a few people that have taken it on wow i do apologize for not taking on the powder keg i really thought that i did obviously i didn't i i i, I saw it in there and i even mentioned it and then i did something and i forgot about it either way hope you guys enjoyed this episode and i'll see you guys in the next one